I was in middle school when Taylor Swift first came out. Okay. And I had a big chip on my shoulder about being seen as tough. I was like, I don't like Taylor Swift. All of this is adding up to you're just a deeply uncultured person. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Oman. And I'm Jun. And this is a special Taylor Swift Stan episode of Ever Never TV. Which is totally unexpected because all we've been doing the last few weeks is talking about book six and the movie. But then Taylor dropped a surprise album because she's been so productive in quarantine while the rest of us have been like on the floor crying about the world. And she shot like music videos she too. She shot a music video, which my friend production design, I have to tell you what? the I was like, how did they get the moss on the piano? Like during so quarantine? Okay. All of you should go bother Ethan Tobin on Instagram, <laughs> who is my friend who I've known for many years. So we are here to talk about how amazing folklore is, but we're also here to talk about the fact of, of why I like Taylor Swift so much. And I think, it's because Taylor Swift is basically Sophie. Mm. <laughs> so, okay, we are going to track Taylor Swift's life, right? <laughs> Which Taylor Swift came on the scene, and she came on the scene, I think, very transparently because, you know, she had stories to tell about high school, right? Stories about being bullied and stories about being, like, you know, an outcast and, and things like that. There was a marked subtext of revenge to a lot of her stories. Mm. And there is that kind of like Sophie element of I'm going to go to the school for good and I'm going to be popular and famous and everybody's going to love me, right? So she's already going to the school for good, right? Taylor walking into the school for good. But then the boys start coming. And Sophie's all well and good until she sees a prince. And so then Taylor starts seeing princes. Mm -hmm. George Jonas, Harry Styles, Jake Jones, Calvin Harris, Connor Kennedy, John Mayer. Basically, she's Sophie dating every <laughs> guy who's like handsome and charismatic. Every single one ends in her turning into like Sophie Witch. So book one, Sophie, is what she's going through all these like guys, right? And all of them are disappointing her. I feel like like Tom Hiddleston, who I actually wanted to be the schoolmaster way back when, she starts dating Tom Hiddleston, what? who's basically Rafal. So then, that ends in a big giant mess, right? In a song called Getaway Car that all of you know. Getting away from Tom? No, she was getting away from Cal so she, uh, Calvin Harris is Tedros, and Calvin Harris looks like Tedros. And <laughs> she she runs away from Tedros to, to Tom. Tom to Rafal. Which is exactly what happens at the end of part two in book six. This is Taylor creepy. Swift is Sophie. Tell me it's a conspiracy. I am wrong. But no, but what you have to ask yourself is the chicken or the egg. Um, is it that you write it into existence and then it I happens think, to Taylor? I think I'm the historian and Taylor unfortunately is the fairy tale. <laughs> and so Taylor's life just happens to be on the chopping block. I see. And everything I write happens to Taylor. So she must be very happy that I've ended the series. Because then, <laughs> after Rafal, she meets Joe Alwyn. And she's been with Joe Alwyn ever since. And I think Joe Alwyn is like Rian from oh. books four through six, because he looks like Rian from books so four through six. So she hasn't finished the cycle yet. Okay, so one of two things is gonna happen. Either I screwed up and Rian doesn't die, and she stays with Rian forever, <laughs> and they get married or whatever. <laughs> or... Or he has a twin. Or we haven't gotten to the Japheth part yet. Oh my god. Wait, wait, so who is Hort, I'm wondering? Is it um Taylor Lautner? How do we get Taylor to read these books? We have to warn her. We have to warn her. I think we should tag her and warn her that <laughs> the snake is coming. It's up to <laughs> Everyone's gonna tag, they're gonna be like, T Swift 13, hashtag snake is coming. And she's gonna be like, but I did. And the snake, oh my god, she did the whole thing with the snakes. Do you remember? Oh During yeah! The there, she did the whole thing with the snakes. And by then I had already written book four. So like, I had, I had, I had the whole snake plot in my head. And then she comes out and becomes the whole snake queen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she Tell me this is not, this is not coincidence. So how do you think folklore fits into the School for Good and Evil theory? I think Sophie is folklore is like the end of book six. She has found peace and love and happiness mm -hmm. for now. Okay. With Rian. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Guys. Oh my god, this is the best hot take ever. This might be the, the best episode of Ever Never TV in history. I think this is the one that's gonna either like make or break Ever Never TV. Either we're gonna trend or we're gonna get assaulted by like Taylor yeah, Swift. We're gonna get some lawyers. Oh my god. Alright, we'll see you guys next week. See you guys next week!